What's good YouTube, Justin Farm here. Today for you guys, I got a walkthrough of a brand new 2018 6x12 enclosed trailer by Carry On, guys. I picked this up at Lowe's on sale. If you guys seen the previous video, you guys know I picked it up on sale for 3,800 plus tax. Regular, it would have been probably 5,000 plus tax. So the regular price was 4,800. So it would have been like around 5,200, 5,300 with tax in, guys. So right away, guys, you can see the side of the trailer, we have our one our hinge door right here, and it's all white. So we have aluminum one piece top, if you guys can see. Uh, we got the diamond checkered plate fender flares. Also, we have it on both sides, and also a rock guard, a diamond plate rock guard right here at the front, you guys can see, which is a very nice touch. The trim is only two inch trim on it. It's not full size three inch trim. All around the trailer on both sides, on especially this side right here, there is a rain drip guard, if you guys can kind of see. One neat feature about this door is that they actually put in when a, and actually put a rubber thing in there for you for this to actually go in there and heavy wind so it will just actually sit in there it won't actually will swing along and whatnot guys this is also this is a 2018 model if you guys can see it has a led package all around if here's one of the marker lights right there also one right above the fender and on the opposite side of the fender it would be showing red for the rear people driving behind you Moving our, on the way to the back of the trailer, you guys can see our second marker light right here. This one's red, which really marker light looks nice. And we also have a vent right here, guys. Coming towards the back, we have our full-size door for the ramp for you guys to drive in your vehicle or, well, not a big vehicle, like probably your lawn truck or your ATVs or probably like a Polaris, those uh, dune buggy style things and whatnot, guys. We have one plastic hinge right here on the back of the vehicle, on the back of the trailer, actually. And we have double door latches that would just simply just open up by moving this and close up. We'll pull that over. I'll show you guys later. And also 6x12s right here. And you guys can see Lowe's and carry-on trailers as well. On the back or of the roof right here, there's also a rain guard that helps protect the rain to just wash off. It's really, it's really neat if you guys realized. They could have went ahead and uh, only put a little bit of a rain guard on top of the Hill of license plate light, but they went and did the entire thing, which is nice. You have two medium duty, not that heavy duty rubber stoppers for the ground when it goes on. You have two heavy duty hinges, if you guys can see. These are, I believe, uh, eight inch hinges, and it has a greasing zert right there on both ones. There's a greasing zert. It's just kind of dirty right now because it has grease on it, but that's where you guys would just pump your grease gun into and grease those hinges. It has flush mounting LED clearance tail lights, as you guys can see with the chrome bezel and a grommet fully attached to the sides. If you guys can see, it's a screwless, it's not a screwless design, it's fully screwed. There's no, all panels are screwed, so there's no glue and whatnot. Same thing on this side, they put a window and did a rain guard on this side as well, since there's no door. The tires, are 15 inch these are two uh 205 75 15s so i'll repeat that again 205 75 15s and they're five bolts which are really nice guys it comes with a 3500 pound heavy duty axle and also it is a two inch a frame trailer design to where you hook up as the trailer bump and there is also another vent on this side right here guys as well and you guys can see right here this is where you guys would get your VIN and all that. And right here, it's um, the na like the National Manufacturer Compliance Guideline. That's a sticker you guys want to make sure you guys have when you guys are looking for a trailer. So you know what's been made building to according to guidelines and whatnot. <clears throat> Moving on to the front, here's that diamond plate I was talking about. It kind of goes all around up to here to the very front. And we got the carry-on logo there on the vent that I mentioned. And here's the diamond plate as I was talking about. And then the tongue goes out. It's a very lengthy tongue as you guys can see. It's about, I would say, about roughly three feet tongue alone. And then this is the actual jack that it gives, that comes with. And it's a two inch ball receiver where it goes on. They also gave a quite a bit good uh, conduit on it and like a nice length for making your electrical connections to your vehicle guys, which is a good plus. Now let me show you guys more of the inside of the trailer and whatnot guys. 
So if we step over, we we'll go over all the way to this side. On the side of the trailer here, you guys can see we have the two hinges for the door on this side and also the two hinges here. So let's go in inside. So you guys will just open this up. Like so. Your lock would go on that. Move this up and just turn that over. And right away, guys, it would open. And if you guys, if you come around right here, you can see right here where it would actually go right in. Like so. As you guys can see, it just clicked right in. So now this door is held here. You guys can always go ahead and install yourself a chain. That would also be a nice plus feature to be doing. Make sure you guys check out my next YouTube video for the trailer too, because there's gonna be a lot of mods and things I'm gonna be doing to this trailer. So right away you guys can see we have the caulking all over. We've got a nice aluminum channel right here as you step in. It still has the stop do not enter because we just picked it up from Lowe's guys. We have, I believe if I'm not wrong, 5 8 plywood or 3 4 on the bottom. And then it's all compressed wood. This is all just made sure like so it doesn't grab moisture and whatnot. We have one halogen light over there and one right here as well guys. And you can see where the vents are, there is actually a hole for it to actually vent out. So there is actual air as well as down there. And there's four ratcheting, or not ratcheting straps, or where you can hook your ratchet straps to. These four D-rings that are hooked down to the very base of the frame and whatnot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just open up the back and I'll show you guys opening that up as well, guys. All right guys, to open up the back, same style hinges for the front door there. You would just open this up, like so. The trailer needs greasing right now, so that's why it's kind of loud. Same thing for this, this side. Turn that right over. And then we would just open this down. So I'll show you guys what I mean. You, you can't just let, I don't believe it goes down all the way. Oh, not really? Okay, so it doesn't really have, I guess, once you put a little bit of greasing to it and work on it, you can definitely make it slowly roll down. And then here's the front 1 foot 12 inch plate for you guys to drive up the ramp, so you guys can see. And as you walk up into the trailer, you can see the hinges in here and how it's all lined up. It's perfectly smooth. You can also get something to cover this if you wanted to, like another flap. But I'm sure they don't really make these add-ons. These are all things you can do by yourself. Up here, you guys can see we've got our three LED marker lights on top, the penny lighting for the back. And right when you're going here, you guys can see it's lots of space. So it's six feet wide and 12 feet long to be, uh, that's the measurement and stuff. I'll, I don't know if it's 100% exact. I gotta measure that to be sure. The roofing, if I'm not too sure, it's at 24 inch spacing, all the metal beams. If you do, you can also get 16 inch spacing as well or 12 inch spacing. They're the more cost of the trailer as well. Um, actually, when you're in here at the trailer, you can see there's still, they gave you a couple of parts right here where you can screw into. They pre had and went with these. So you guys can screw your lawns, your landscaping stuff, your trimmer, your shelves or whatnot onto this. They pre already went with that. So most likely the main thing that we're gonna be doing with this trailer guys, as we're gonna be, hopefully, we're gonna be insulating this thing. So I'm gonna try taking these screws out and most likely putting in some insulation back there. And for the floor, entire floorboard, guys, we're gonna be epoxy flooring this, right? Yep. Because wood stain, you really can, but I just wanna make this nice and just waterproof. And I'm gonna be painting the walls and the roof and whatnot, too, guys. That's pretty good, guys. For the price of the trailer, it's pretty good for it's what you paid. Compared to other trailers, I know, yes, you can get a lot of other larger trailers, but we don't own a pickup truck to really pull such a big trailer, and we didn't want a tandem axle, so the dual axle, so that was a big thing for us. And one thing, this trailer weighs uh, 980 pounds, as is, and it can hold up to uh, 2,000 pounds. So total gross weight of this trailer would be uh, 2,980. So 2,980 pounds total of this weight would be how much you're pulling. So that's not bad guys, it's fairly good. We're gonna be using it for our dirt bikes and our John Deere and just automotive stuff here and there guys. Definitely a recommended buy if you guys are looking for, looking for a trailer for something that's not too heavy and something that can be towed around with multiple SUVs. Like right now we have it hooked up to our five cylinder 
Hummer H3. So yeah, guys, like I was saying, uh, we're just gonna be using the, we use the Hummer and like the BMWs and whatnot to pull it. So that's why we wanted like a light trailer. So this thing comes in at 980 pounds, just under a thousand pounds empty. So that's fairly light guys for a whole enclosed trailer. And so a couple more details just to show you guys. There's weather gasket going all around and whatnot. And I'll show you guys some more detail of the inside right here. You guys can see for the roof, they use like a weather gasketing material between the metal, um, the aluminum roof and the actual metal frame going along as well, if you guys can see that. And then do not stack or place combustible items near possible hazards. So this is this, because it's a halogen light, guys. It gets fairly warm. Uh, there's a click, a clicker to have it on and off. You guys know what I mean? Once you have it connected to the trailer. So let me just quickly just turn on the Hummer quickly and I'll show you guys the lights of how it looks right now inside and whatnot. So to quickly just show you, these are how the LED lights look when they're on, whatnot. Here's the fender one. This is just a daytime quick look. And then there's the back one. And then the LED tail lights you guys can see. And then the top triple penny lights right there, guys. There's LED tail light on right there. And here's the back. And then here, let me just show you guys the inside lights, like I was saying. So here are those halogen dome lights and you can just turn them on and off with just a click and whatnot which is pretty cool and i believe same as this one right here this is the clickers right here so you just have on or off so that's pretty cool so when you're towing the trailer you make sure you keep these interior lights off so you don't have all the power being wasted and whatnot guys so that's pretty cool about the trailer and if you guys have any comments make sure you guys leave them in the comment section below leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys have any questions let me know if there's any questions about the trailer and whatnot guys i hope everybody got most of their questions answered with this and if they were interested in buying a trailer from lowe's hopefully they got some more information and in finding a trailer guys if this helps you or not in making your purchase from lowe's or going with someone else hope it really helps guys and one thing for the roof too yeah there is also one thing before i forget they also have that i don't know if you guys can kind of see we have this caulking right here on the side that they did and also kind of down the center. I don't know if you guys can really see, but yeah. It is like a bubble nose or like the front is like, like a retro style design. It's not a V nose or like a flat at all. It's really cool. And it just needs a little wash and whatnot guys. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And make sure you guys check out my other YouTube video guys too, guys. When you guys see my project and when I start painting this, I start making this thing look beautiful, guys. Especially the door. Have that door stained and the interior stained just to make it more enter uh, like entertaining and just makes it more look good and whatnot. We got to remove the stickers that they had there. And I got to get my vinyl machine set up real quickly. And then I'm going to print out my vinyls for this trailer, guys. It's pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And take care, guys.